Okay, first of all, what do we need? We need a, a first a Google Tag Manager account and a Google Analytics 4 account. Uh, if you have a Google Tag Manager account, the dashboard should look like this. And you need to make sure that this code right here, when you click it, uh, you'll see that you have two codes, one for the heading of every page on your website and one for uh, the body tag, which is also going to be pasted on every page of your website immediately after opening the body tag. You need to make sure that you have these codes installed and you need to preview uh, if it's installed. If you click preview, it's, it's all going to open your uh, Google Tag Manager Assistant and you need to make sure that you are connected and Google Tag Manager is installed to our website before uh, we are moving with this tutorial. Now, if we have Google Tag Manager uh, already installed to our website, what we need to do is to make sure that we have a Google Analytics 4 account already created. For the matter of this tutorial, I'm going to create an account for you. We are going to uh, name it test2.com. Um, I recommend to be your account name, uh, also your website name. If you have multiple websites, this is going to help you. Um, the property name, just the same, test2.com. Here we're going to put your, um, your reporting time, your uh, uh, your currency, if you have an e-commerce website, and some details about your uh, organization. So let's click create right here. And I accept the conditions. Now we have uh, our Google Analytics 4 account created and it's telling us to start collecting data. We need to choose a platform. We are going to choose web because we want to install Google Analytics 4 to our website. And here you just need to put your uh, website address, which is, let's say, test.com, test2.com, my, uh, my stream name, it will be the same, test2.com, and we are going to create a stream. Now, uh, you see that they're telling us that uh, data stream Data collection isn't active for our website, so we need to get this measurement ID right here and copy it and go back to Google Tag Manager and um, create a new, a new tag. So we're going to click this button here. We are going to name it configuration Google analytics 4 okay now we are going to choose ga4 configuration and now it's asking us for the measurement id which is exactly this code that we copied before okay so we're going to put this code and we're not done yet because we need to trigger this event on every uh, page of our website so this is going to be done by clicking all pages so we, we want for this measurement ID to be triggered on every page view from our website. If you do that, we click save. And very, very important, we need to submit the changes that we, we do on uh, Google Tag Manager by publishing, continue. And now we're done. Officially, we have Google Analytics 4 installed uh, by using Tag Manager. Now, how you can check if it's installed correctly. Uh, I usually go to reports and uh, you have here an option real time. So if you go to real time, uh, you should see here if you go to a website that you have one user active. Usually it takes like five, 10 minutes, maybe half an hour um, because it's not instant. They will not, uh, this uh, Google Analytics 4 will not see you instant on our, on your website. But my recommendation is to go uh, with your phone or with other device uh, on your website just to make sure that uh, it's tracking traffic. Your IP address may, may, not, uh, may not be tracked by Google Analytics 4, but uh, if you ask a friend or you go with uh, your phone on your website, you should see here that 
uh, it's tracking users uh, in the last 30 minutes. That's it for today. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, uh, please comment below or shoot me an email. I'm going to leave my, my email address just in case that anyone has uh, any queries or help. I wish you a wonderful day, guys.